In this video, I'm going to show you the software for the Vinyl 4 Vinyl Cutter. So the first thing you'll have to do is go to cncu.co.za and once you're there, click on Vinyl Cutters and then navigate all the way down to Vinyl 4 and then click it. Once that page is open, scroll all the way down and click on Vinyl Cut Craft Design and Vinyl Cutting Software. And then scroll all the way down and then choose whichever one is applicable for your operating system. And then once you've found it, click on it. And once you have downloaded the software, simply install it and then open it up. When you open the software, it will prompt you to start a new project. So you're going to click New Project and then it will prompt you to name the project and also to modify your mat size. So this will be your working area on the software. So depending on the size of your machine, you will choose whatever size is applicable. So in this case, I'll leave it at 500 by 500. You can also choose what units you want to work in. In this case, I'm only going to be using millimeters. Then you click OK. So now this is your working area that we've set now. This is 500 by 500. Right, so the first thing you need to do is to set up your machine. So simply go do that by going to Cutter. And then now, once you are here, click on Company or Brand. And then you select Vinyl 4. Once you've selected that, we are going to pick the right model for your machine. So you click on the drop down menu and you pick whichever is applicable to you. In this case, we are using the Hobby. Once you have done that, you click add to list and then done. So as you can see on this left, this is your sidebar with all the tools that you can use for your designing, like your type tool, your pen tool, and your shape creation tool. And then on the far right, this is your sidebar where you can edit the size of the document if you ever change your mind, show a preview of your registration marks, or change width and height of your design work. So if you have your own file that you have designed, you can simply import your file by clicking on import. And these are all the file formats that the software supports. Or subsequently, if you don't have a vector file, but you do have an image, you can simply trace it by clicking on trace image. Choose an image, and then you navigate to wherever the file is. In this case, I will pick this nice looking lion and then you click open. So as you can see on my screen here, the software has already created red outlines around the lion. So this is where it found the edges and this is where it's going to cut. Now, once it has shown you the outlines, it means your image is already traced and you can actually work with it. However, if you are doing print and cut, you always have to click on add image layer so that the software retains the colors that you need so you can print them out. However, in this case, we are not doing print and cut. So I will simply untick this and then this here is already done. You just click OK. Now my artwork is on my workspace. So you simply click back on your selection tool so you can be able to move your artwork around. Click on preview to see exactly where the machine will start cutting. So as you can see, every line that you can see on the artwork will definitely be cut. So now you need to confirm whether the artwork is to scale. So what you do is on the right side toolbar, click on this black icon, and then this will show you the exact dimensions of your artwork. You can always adjust them to whatever size you desire. In this case, I will leave it on 300. I will leave this on keep proportion so that the artwork moves proportionally to scale. Then I press enter. Now you can move the artwork around and place it where you want to place it. And that's pretty much it. Now you're ready to cut. So 
let's cut. Now that should get you going and give you an idea on what to do on your vinyl for vinyl cutting. I sure hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will catch you next time.